Hey everyone, it's Aneta with K-Pop Oracles. I'm bringing you another K-Pop tarot reading. Today's reading is going to be about Hwasa of Mama Moo. We're just going to be doing a career prediction reading for this year. So yeah, the second half of this year, so from June to December of this year. So let's see what is going to happen to her career this year. All right, let's go ahead and get started. What is going to happen to her career this year? going to happen to Hwasa's career this year? You, oof, oof. Oh my gosh, too many cards. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. She's going to be really, really, really busy. She's going to be working her butt off. I feel like she's not going to, yeah, her, her focus is just going to be her career and she's going to be working her butt off. Okay, so that's great. Her, it seems like her, her hard work will most likely pay off. You know, be a busy, busy person. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Okay, so things could be a little, like, I feel like we'll be a little stable for her this, in the second half of this year. So she'll be like this King of Pentacles, just someone who's got it all. Financial stability, a solid career. Like, it's, it seems like things will continue to improve for her. Like, she's going to be, like, really balling, like this King of Pentacles here. Like, I feel like she's going to, like, seriously rise to, to the tops, you know? We have the Hierophant. Hierophant, okay. I mean, we see this, okay, we see this dude here and we got a couple of dudes here at the bottom here. So which tells me, okay, hmm, she could be working with some people, people who are similar to her. So she can be, I, I, guess, I guess she may feel like some sort of connection with some people or meet new people like that kind of are similar to her or just share, you know, share some kind of beliefs as her similar or spirit, spiritual beliefs. So I feel like there could be some collaborations. So yeah, she may meet some like-minded individuals. It could also mean that she may be, may be like some sort of mentor to others. So she could be doing some coaching, okay? Maybe like, yeah, helping out some trainees. We have the three of wands. I feel like, yeah, she's, her career is going to continue to expand, to con continue to grow. She's going to be doing, I feel like a lot of traveling too. Or it could also mean that, pe you know, maybe there's some people like um, outside a country that want to like work with her. Okay. Cause this is a card of travel, foreign, maybe foreign relations expansion. So I think, yeah. So I think she's going to be really popular this year. So yeah, this might be her year. What else? We had the nine of wands. Okay, she may feel a little tired. She may feel a little re weary, but I think she's gonna hang in there. Um, it, it could also mean that, okay. I mean, it could also mean like protecting or protecting yourself from something, okay? so. She may have to, there may be some hurdles that or obstacles that are coming her way and she feels like she's going to have to defend herself. We had the six of swords. Okay, so it's not too, something too, too like dramatic or like scandalous. Hmm. Okay, so we can expect a calm. She can expect a calm year with the six of swords here. Like I don't. See, it's not a whole lot of um, drama. It's just maybe some minor irritations, or she has to like kind of protect something of hers. Yeah. So she might deal with some just like small headaches. It's not something like really like crazy or s scandalous. Okay. time to, to decide okay so I think she's gonna be like offered so many things or offered a lot of projects or opportunities and she's gonna have maybe difficulty kind of figuring out like what 
what to do or what is best. I feel like she, she's going to be in high demand. You're on the right path. Yeah, so I, yeah, again, her career is going to continue to soar, can continue to do well. We have study at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Okay, so it can mean, um, I don't know, maybe, she, maybe going back to school or either that or just like, uh, I feel like she's going to like really try to like perfect her craft. Like maybe like, I don't know, like maybe like learn some new skills, maybe learn from others, study and... I feel like, like I, yeah, so I feel like she's gonna like maybe learn, just go out and like learn new things. Maybe like work on her dance skills, her writing, her songwriting skills, production skills, maybe acting skills if she wants to get acting, get into acting. Okay, we have hire. Yeah, I feel like people are gonna hire her. We have journal. Huh. Okay, so she may get involved in some sort of like writing. Like, I mean, she may do some writing. Maybe it could be songwriting. It could be just like, just writing in general, poetry, blogging, writing articles. Um, she seems like someone who is, she seems like a really deep person, just someone who likes to write a lot. So I feel like she's gonna <clears throat> maybe do a little bit of that. Okay, what else? I am successful. Yes. Okay. Yes. She's destined for greatness, destined for success. Yeah. So that's the number eight. I am successful. She's, yeah, she's, she's, she, she's just a really talented person. It just seems like, yeah, she'll continue to grow, continue to rise. I am perceptive, number 16. I am perceptive, number 16. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I think this kind of, I, yeah, again, I feel like she's she's gonna be like, maybe be like a mentor to some people, maybe like later in this year. Like, I feel like she's someone that really understands people or just knows how to read people, like really picks up the energy of others or like the, like the environment around her. So I think she seems like a great person to learn from. So I feel like people, yeah, can learn a lot from her. Creativity, okay, so it, it can mean that she may take on some creative projects, again, like act the arts. I feel like some, yeah, something related to the arts, so acting, maybe, or, um, yeah, like maybe just music collaborations, it could be fashion related, or makeup, beauty, maybe painting or drawing, or just writing. Best possible decision, yeah. I feel like she's gonna be like given a lot of like opportunities again. Like I just and she's gonna be like, oh my god, what do I like which which one should I take? Alright, so let's see, what are some potential roadblocks she may run into this year? What are some roadblocks she may run into? Surrender, denial, maybe just feelings of, um, or just, yeah, so it just seems like, uh-huh, let me see here. Hmm, surrender, denial. Um, 
yeah, maybe just being like in a state of like denial or something, or just like maybe just be having difficulty kind of like, or maybe she may struggle to kind of like have controls of certain things, maybe like certain people or like, or situations, and she may struggle to kind of just accept things the way they are. Um, so yeah, let's see what else. Surrender to spirit. Yeah, just going with the flow. Okay, like I feel like she's just someone that likes to be in control of things. And when things don't go her, her way, she can feel like a little, like maybe kind of makes her feel like tense or just like helpless. So, um, so she may feel like she's going to lose like some sort of sense of like, like a sense of control. Surrender to inner peace. Yeah, I feel like she just got maybe it's just like can be like a ball of stress at times, or and I feel like she hides it too. Like she just maybe likes to keep things yeah to herself, and so she may be like stressed out at AF this year. Okay, like I think she's gonna be kept really busy, so that might cause her you know to kind of stress out a little bit. So yeah, nothing too too crazy. All right, let's see. What are some? I guess what's some advice or career advice does the universe have for her? Vulture. Vulture. It says, accept the inevitable, let go of the past, and welcome a rebirth to begin. Okay, yeah, so just kind of just go with the flow of things, you know, if you got past issues, let it go. Focus on, you know, the now. We had the owl, the owl. Your intuition is correct. Follow your inner wisdom without fail. Yeah, just listen to yourself a little bit more. Listen to your inner voice. It's always, it's usually right. Okay, one more. Celebrate the little things in everyday life. Yeah, go out and have fun. Alrighty, so that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at kpoporacles1 and Tumblr, kpoporacles.tumblr.com. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.